Today we study the rich piece quilting design system. First, we need to click the grid icon to close the grid display. Then we can start the quilting pattern stitch making. Firstly, we need to select the mesh tool. To make mesh straws. And here we can set the number of columns and the rows of the mesh. Then we left click, drag to make the mesh on the work area. Until the size enough, we can left click to finish. Next, we need to click select the pink tool. Use this tool, click select the mesh. Right click, open the object properties. Here we can change the mesh attribute. Now we change the mesh size to 400 millimeters. Click OK to finish. Next, we use the zoom tool. To make the mesh design to your work, work area center. Then we need to click the snap and lock tool. So we can lock and snap to the selected meshes. Next, we can use the polyline tool. To draw the quilting stitch design. On this segment point, left click. The first point is the enter stitch point. Then Follow the mesh assistant lines. Draw the design stitch, what you want. Backspace. Backspace.
Press Enter key to finish. Go on, we need to draw the cross stitch line from this point. Press Enter key to finish. Now we finish the um, profile lines. After that, we can click uh, Select this tool. Resumes all forbidden editing. Then we can add some customized pattern design. We need to use this tool, Compound Curve Tool. To draw the curves mode, press Shift key. We can switch the compound curve tool to curve the draws mode. Press Enter key to finish. Next, uh, we can use the uh, pick tool. Left click, cursing, select the, this curve design line. Then, right click, choose copy. Go on, right click, choose paste to current stitch position.
Right click, choose Mirror Tool, select the User Define. Next, find the center of symmetry. Left click to place the symmetry copy at the proper position. Until satisfied, left click to finish. Next, uh, we use the uh, pin tool. Left click, close and select the curve design line. Shift through. Now, go on, right click. Choose copy. Right click, choose paste to kind of stitch position. Right click, open the mirror tool, select the user define, find the center of symmetry, left click, drag to place the symmetry copy to a proper position. Until satisfied, left click to finish. Go on, use the pink tool. Left click, crossing, select this curve design lines. Choose group. Right click, choose copy, and uh, choose paste at the current stage position. Go on, right click, open the mirror tool, select the user define. Choose the center of symmetry. Drag mouse to place the design lines to a proper position. Until satisfied, left click to finish. Next, uh, we use the pink tool. Left click, cross and select this complete design lines. Choose group. Now we can copy and move a complete pattern design to another position. Right click, choose copy. Go on, right click, choose paste to kind of each position. Next, left click to move this pattern design to another position.
Go on. Choose copy. Choose paste to kind of stage position. Choose copy. Choose paste to current stage position and move. Go on. Left click to select the curved design lines. Right click, copy. Right click, paste to current stitch position. Go on. Move the curved design line. Okay, now we finish the pattern design by turns. We can copy and move a complete pattern design to another position so that we can quickly complete the pattern stitch design like this. After finished, we need to save the file. Go to the file menu. Select the save. We need to save the file to a QUI format file. QI format file. QI format file is for HP security machine. Also, we can save the pattern stitch file to other format, format such as DST, DST for Tatima embroidery machine, DXF file for AutoCAD, and PLT. File for HPDL plotter machine.